I found my mom cheating and dad doesn't believe me. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss another cheating story goes live. So my mom is cheating on my dad. I don't know if you count speaking, flirting, calling, and dressing up for this guy on Instagram as cheating, but it is to me. She calls him every time my dad is out and at first I believed that they were just friends until I saw them exchange messages along the lines of hey sexy are you home yet beautiful and I love you babe. Me and my little sister told my dad and the second time we told him, my mom found out and scolded me about it, saying you need to tell me and not dad. I'm not up for her constant bullshit because I fucking loathe this bitch to the earth's core. I tried to keep shut but there are moments where I just can't handle her doing this behind his back. As much as you might say it's none of my business, Things like this seriously affect and ruin a child's image of their parents and just the household in general. The fourth time I caught her, I took her words from the last time and asked who she was talking to because she went upstairs to sleep at 8 o'clock but stayed up till 9.30 speaking to this guy. She was in one of her silk pajama sets that she never wears and in this really provocative position at work calling him. Me and my sister entered the door and I eyed her. I asked who are you speaking to you with my hands crossed. She claimed it was her brother and told us to go back to our rooms. I said I know you're not speaking to him. She gave me a deathly glare, put herself on you, and shoved me and my sister out of the room while telling me not to act smart. I was fuming. That's when I had enough and texted my dad once again about everything that I saw tonight and even recorded the part where she told me not to act smart. I sent him the recording and everything and told him not to tell her but he ended up spilling everything to my mom. My mom came barging in my room and screamed at me about how I was not her daughter anymore and not to call her mom. She said stuff like if something happens to me tomorrow, you will be responsible for it all and I was just sitting there with tears coming out of my eyes but I was not lured into her stupid trap. If there's one thing you must know about me, I will stand my ground for what I know is right and what I know is that she was not speaking to any uncle of mine nor was she sleeping. The audacity she had to lie straight to my face when it was pretty obvious who she was speaking to just baffled me. She threatened me to tell my dad it was just my uncle that she was talking to, but no way in hell was I gonna do that. She was screaming and crying at me and I told her to leave and slammed the door in her face and locked it. I had school the next day and through all my classes she would text me stuff about how she hates me and how I ruined her life. She believes that we had made up because I told her I don't want to speak about this issue anymore and that I'm done interfering with her marriage. Apart from the fact that she told me that I was delusional and crazy. I just ignored it and moved on with my life. Just now not even an hour ago I found this message on my dad's phone on my mom's contacts of that same day I caught her. It said hi daddy it's, my name, my phone died sorry mom was just talking to uncle and grandma sorry. My dad replied with it's okay baby. And I am fucking speechless I can tell you straight up that I did not send that nor type IT. This bitch set me up and manipulated my dad into thinking I said that when it was her trying not to get in trouble. I fucking hate my life so much. I tried, I really tried not to interfere yet she still continues to speak to this guy. This whole week I have seen her. TMI they have been doing IT in their room ever since because it's the only way my mom can show my dad affection, her way of saying sorry, and are so damn loud and don't even try to hide it. It's so disturbing but I can't say anything. I'm so stuck and don't know what to do anymore. I'm still continuing to stay quiet and just live my miserable life till I can finally move out. Any suggestions on what to do? My grandma knows of all this drama and we are sure that he tries to forgive my mom so much because he does not want to lose her. My mom has changed my dad so now whatever she says, he automatically believes. Because why believe your daughter who has witnessed everything over your crazy manipulative wife right? He has been suspicious since the beginning but no matter what happens, he always ends up pretending like nothing ever happened. I told him four times. Two of those times in the same month. I sent him recordings, messages, pictures and all the proof he could ever need. Yet he still doesn't confront nor question her. Here are some of the best comments from our community. I'm so sorry for the situation you are in. I also feel sad for your father because he obviously knows the truth but for some reason is not ready to accept it. Maybe he does not want to break up the family or is too much in love with your mother. Maybe once you should take him out for coffee and have a heart to heart with him. Maybe he'll at least tell you the reason he is not taking it up and you'll also be at peace that he at least is aware of the truth. No one should be put in this position. I just absolutely hate cheaters. It's the worst thing to do to someone. Classic manipulation, instead of owning up to her mistakes she threatens and controls you to. 
For some reason she thinks she can escape the consequences of her actions but it's only a matter of time before karma will get her back. She thinks she can sacrifice the respect and love from her own husband and children and everyone else for this random guy. I wouldn't be surprised if one day that guy leaves her for someone else. Cheaters deserve to be cheated on. Your dad deserves better and shouldn't have to let himself be walked on like that. Here is the second story. My wife of 8 years cheated on me when we got engaged. I found out that my, 28M, wife, 26F, cheated on me while we were engaged after 8 years of marriage. I need some advice on how to deal with this. I'm struggling a lot with it and I don't know what to do. My wife and I had a long distance relationship for a few years then decided to get married and move in together. We did that, and have had 8 years of a solid marriage with no major issues. We also have 2 kids. I recently discovered that a few months before we were married, she gave a blowjob to this guy that she had been hanging out with after work. I was devastated. As not only were we engaged at the time, but up until this point I had believed we were both only ever with each other. Which is something that meant a lot to me. We talked and sort of worked things out. She swore to the point of crying that nothing else had happened. A few months after finding this out, I did some digging and found out she was regularly giving blowjobs and making out with three guys, one of whom was bragging that they fucked regularly. I confront her about this, and again she swears that she did not fuck any of those guys, but admitted she gave and received oral and hung out with them after work. But I have other sources saying she was fucking at least one of them. I find it very hard to believe that she would hang out with them at their house and only make out and do oral sex. Like there's no way they did not have sex. I'm suffering emotionally. I find myself overwhelmed with anger and sadness. I stayed true to her all of those years, and now I find out she was not doing the same. I don't care what she did before we were dating. But doing this shit while we were planning our fucking wedding? Question mark. I can't trust her. She has lied to me three times now. I find myself emotionally disconnected from her. I feel like something that meant a lot to me all this time, never existed in the first place. I can't even look at old pictures of us the same way without feeling angry. All I want to do when getting home from work is not be around her. But I love my kids. I just want what I had before. I almost wish I never found out but I'm glad I did. I don't want to split up but I know that if I had known about this 8 years ago, I wouldn't have married her. I know forgiveness is probably the right path, but I can't do it. All I think about is how much it hurts and how angry it makes me. Here are some of the best comments from our community. 100%. He probably still doesn't know all the facts and frankly I wouldn't be surprised if there was even cheating going on more recently. Once someone has been unfaithful multiple times it becomes a very toxically addictive cycle that is very difficult to abandon. If he's found out about these guys, I would guess there are more he hasn't learned about. She probably had some sort of sexual contact with 10 or more guys if they are only 3 he knows about. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for any future cheating stories.